With this build, you get to throw 39.7 cats per second on your enemies. It's Arcanist Brand Solren. It's an old build of mine. It was way better, obviously, before 3.15. They made triggering skills spend ex additional mana so that you have to throw the brand on the ground, spend mana, and then the triggering also costs mana. However, I found a few ways in 3.17 to work around this and to decrease mana cost. You'll see it's a fun build. Uh, single target, eh, subpar. Pretty good on clear. This uses 9 auras, as you can see. Clarity is level 21 to really increase our mana regen. Most important of all, of course, aspect of the cat, because we're throwing cats. We also use a wand that increases our cat speed, I mean cast speed, as well as our damage over time. The main idea is we use void manipulation, because cats are manipulative. Divergent efficacy, anomalous GMP, uh, both decrease mana costs. Increases the amount of cats we produce per second. Of course, Soul Rend, Arcanist Brand itself. And most important of all, Celestial Cat, Soul Rend Effect. This also uses Wither Totems to help our Chaos damage. The main thing here is on the rings, we need to decrease mana costs of non-channeling skills. The tree looks something like this. Pain Attunement, of course, because we're low life. Essence Surge helps us with our uh, recharge. We use Energy from Knot, Brush with Death to help keep us alive. Corruption to help our Wither effect. Just various DOT nodes, Zealous Oath because we're low life and uh, just various brand nodes, including the old Holy Conquest. Uh, mana Mastery also helps us tremendously, because um, brand's count is coming from us, so each time the spell is triggered, it's very nice because the triggering um, gives us a little bit of mana regen. Harbingers, no problem. This is the tier 16 map you saw. Let the brands do their work, stay around the edges, don't go into the middle of the mob, we do have a lot of ES recharge and regen, a little bit of armor. We have very poor evasion rating. So just cast them and let the brands do their work. Trying it on a single target, uh, again, it's subpar. However, we are fully capable of taking down a metamorph on a tier 16. Takes a little longer than average. Nice thing about brands, you don't have to um, aim as much. You can just kind of, like I say, circle around the edges, avoid the mechanics of the enemy you're fighting. I used to use Swift Affliction instead of GMP, uh, and I had a Dying Sun. Um, everything's been nerfed since the old version of this. Still, fun build, fun to look at. Can clear a lot of things. 